Hello, everybody. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for Patreon to abuse my kindness is what it means. <laughs> Today, for Fan Friday. Oh, no. I let Patreon have too much power this time. Uh, this week, we're not playing a game. This week, we're not uh, doing a Q&A or having like a fun... No, this week, we are reacting. That's right, this is a react video to Crendor non-content. I don't know what videos have been selected for me. <laughs> I had a friend pick some at random. I'm going to react and give my initial reaction to Crendor's non-content videos. I don't know what to expect. I just know we're about to enter the mind of a madman. So... <laughs> Here we go. What is this? What is this video? What am I looking at? What am I? I didn't even press start and I'm confused. Is that sparkles? Is this glitter? You know when like, people do glitter on uh, like, not cotton. Cotton? Glitter on cotton? Glitter on cotton doesn't seem like a thing. Uh, but apparently I think that is. Okay, let's, let's do this. Oh my god, what am I watching? Hello everyone and welcome to Crendor Tests the Water. Uh, there's a cup of water in the negative 40 degree temperatures, all right? This is going to be some crazy stuff right here. Uh, all right, hold on. The video is called, What Happens When You Throw Non-Boiling Water in Minus 40 Degrees? When you throw non-boiling water? Wait, isn't it supposed to... Hold on. Hold. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Crendor Tests the Water. Uh, there's a cup of water in the negative 40 degree temperatures, all right? This is gonna be some crazy stuff right here. Um, you know, everybody's been doing some crazy tricks with all the negative 40 degrees, like boiling water, throwing it, watching it become snow. Right. Uh, so get ready for something crazy right now. I'm expecting uh, just a big time explosion of snow to pop out here. Uh, as you can see, this is real water, not fake, real people, not actors, uh, and there's a car going by. Okay, good. Okay, it's gone. I'm going to do this before my hands freeze off. Here we go. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's just water. <laughs> All right. I guess that's that's our baseline. That is our baseline of what to expect from this because yeah, that was everything that was everything I expected when I was like, oh, this is definitely what we're getting into is Crendor doing the boiling water trick with non-boiling water. I see where this rabbit hole is taking me. Okay, all right. Can't wait for the rest. This next one is called Non-Content Retail Jungle Survival. And the image uh, is of him. I'll just switch that over. Looking like that. So imagine if... Jesus was your tour guide through the backwoods of Louisiana. Just put that put that in your mind. That's how I view this. Um, <laughs> I imagine this is Toast filming. So shout out to Toast. So patient. So patient. Just the most patient woman who ever lived. Just so very patient. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the hell this is. Hello everyone and welcome to the non-content power hour steel deal millennium 2017 end of the year special. Hold on, I'm this is 2017? Oh my god. So this is pre-buff door. This is Kren still uh, okay. This is the end of 20 All right, we got to go back to the beginning. I there's so much to pick up on in this. <laughs> just also notice so far they've all been in the winter. Do you think he just gets bored? In the winter in Chicago, like, he's like, I can't go anywhere, so I guess I'll make a crazy video. Do you think that's what happens? I got All right, let's keep going. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the non-content power hour steel deal millennium 2017 end of the year special. I'm going to be your host, Crendor, the survivalist jungle wizard out here in the wild. <laughs> Come along. The survivalist We're hunting jungle for wizard. deals. And you're going to find a bunch of them out here at the end of the year. Just keep looking. I've seen some 20 percents, but you never know what you this might This is good find. camera work, is what this is. 
could have been a store manager. You gotta watch out for those in these parts. Now, you know, we're, sometimes you got to settle for what you can get in the wild. 20% off is a pretty good deal. And, you know, in the wild, you got to take what you can get. You got to take what you can get. <laughs> hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone. That was the whole video? We need to transition back. That was the whole video? Was that? So he went to a hardware store, maybe a Dick's Sporting Goods or something. Hold on, where was he at? Hello everyone and welcome to the non-content power hour steel deal millennium 2017 end of the year special. I'm gonna be your host, Crendor, the survivalist jungle wizard. I love the hat tip. Out here in the wild, come along. And then he just has, he already has a flashlight. So I get it for the bit, he has a flashlight and he's like, and he keeps clicking it, which I don't know if that's because it's part of his character, right? You know, there's a Millennium Steel Deal man. Or or if he's doing it as like another bit that I don't quite get. I don't, okay. And you're gonna find a bunch of them out here at the end of the year. Just keep looking. I've seen some 20%, but. Great camera work right there. Killing it with the camera work. Nailed the 20%. You never know what you might find. Could have been a store manager. You gotta watch out for those in these parts. That's very funny. That's very cute. But then he comes back yeah, over, you know, goes right back to where he was, get in the wild and then finds so way more twenty percent, which is even and, more you know, funny because he wild. passed all of those. So you like, <laughs> you can get. <laughs> and then the close up, which is as as I know as someone who tries to do terrible improv, the close up is how you end most things when you know you've gone off the rails. So I feel like this is. <laughs> that face <laughs> I can't even look at the screen <laughs> Oh my god Okay, we have to do one more We have to do at least one more Alright, I have two to choose from uh, The options are Starbucks ice water Or Popeye spicy chicken uh, I kind of want to know <laughs> the spicy chicken sandwich. I know exactly what he's going to do. I'm going to click on it, but I know exactly what he's going to do. He's going to rip off uh, review, bro. I know exact. Here we go. I know exactly what he's doing. Hello, everyone. This is running on empty food, food review. review. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. This is running on empty food review. My name's Crandor. <laughs> and I'm trying to imitate review bra. Yep. <laughs> so yep. one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels is Review Bra. If you haven't heard of him, he's uh, just some dude that reviews fast food, and I love it. He's just a goofy guy, nerdy guy, and uh, I watch a lot of it. So as you can see here, <laughs> I'm about to go to the gym, but as my pre-workout meal, I have acquired a... Louisiana Kitchen Popeyes spicy chicken sandwich. I've Great pre-workout meal from yeah. everyone. Uh, the other day, Jesse brought it up on the podcast, Me? and I was like, "Dude, we have to try this this week." Last year was the McRib. This year might be the Louisiana Kitchen Popeyes special specialty spicy chicken sandwich that everybody's ready. I forgot about. he said so, he was going to make a video of this. I decided, you know, I get it. And like old times, I'm vlogging in my car, and I wanted to show off my initial reaction to eating this sandwich. Because we're going to talk about it on the podcast, but I wanted something to kind of document my initial reaction of eating this sandwich. So, I'm so pleased I chose it out this. of the bag. Initial reaction, there's some grease. My gallbladderless body is going to hate that. <laughs> but sometimes... <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do for the for the There's people. There's some grease. You know? um, <laughs> it smells good. It's also a giant piece of chicken. Look at this thing. This is a giant piece of chicken. Louisiana fire. Part first, or maybe I should eat the other part, or maybe just bite in the middle. There's also uh, looks like a pickle. It's got a some sauce. It looks like a spicy sauce. So. We're going to watch Crendor eat Here now. This is so weird. This is so strange. 
It's it's fine when you're watching like review bra or someone you don't know. But when you know someone and you just sit there watching them eat, it's kind of weird. Am I wrong to think that? It's kind of weird to just be like, so what do you think, Crendor? How do you? <laughs> what is that face? What is that face? <laughs> it looks like he's like weighing mortgage options. <laughs> he's like, mm, mm, I don't know, 5% over 12 years. Mm, mm. <laughs> now he's thinking about like a good time he had last week. Like, mm, yeah, I remember that. That was fun. I'm gonna take a bite of the pickle. Yeah, sure. By itself. Right. What is the? <laughs> Just one bite. He didn't even eat the whole pickle, and then he put the pickle back in the sandwich. <laughs> Grandor. <laughs> what? One more bite. What? <laughs> Hold on. Am I just like a fat dude who would put a whole pickle in his mouth because like like that's what I do? Or is Crandor a crazy person for taking a little bite of a pickle, putting the pickle back on the sandwich, and then eating that part with the I don't know. I need Aunt Ch Oh man. I need people right. down below in the comments to let me know if I'm just a crazy person or not, because that was incredible. I <laughs> I'm just finish, uh, finish All right, he's done. It. So, <laughs> it's a pretty good sandwich. <laughs> it's got the crispiness, but it's not overly crispy. Sure, right. The chicken actually tastes really good. Like it's moist. <laughs> it's not rubbery. <laughs> but it's not. I would hope you know, not. It's not. Undercooked. I'm not gonna get salmonella from eating this. The pickle is surprisingly good. <laughs> I'm not even a fan of pickles on sandwiches, but this pickle, like, it's a pretty good pickle. It tastes like they actually bought a real pickle and put it on the sandwich. And the sauce, the sauce has like a little bit of creaminess to it, but it's got a good spice. And I'm a person who likes spicy food. Uh, but doesn't eat it very often anymore because of my uh, stomach issues and IBS. But <laughs> and IBS, it's pretty good. Uh, so I would say overall, I'm gonna give this sandwich uh, probably like out of all the chicken sandwiches I've eaten on a scale of one to ten chickens, I'd give the sandwich like a eight point eight chickens. It's probably the best chicken sandwich rating I've given to a fast food place. So damn, you know what? Damn, Popeyes. I believe the hype. This is a good sandwich, uh, and you should probably get it. Honestly, if you don't even like chicken sandwich, it's probably good. It's it's good to get once. I don't know if I'm gonna get it again, just because my body probably won't digest it very well. <laughs> but it is. It's a high quality fast food item. So take it at that, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll put a link to the podcast where we're talking about Yo, it. Yo, that's what I'm talking about, dude. A week from now. Nice. When we've already talked about it on the podcast. And then you can. All right. Well, that is more than enough of that. I imagine a Starbucks water review is literally him being like, it's good water. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. That was, thank you so much. Patreon for giving me a good laugh. Uh, thank you, Crendor, for discovering probably right now that I was using your videos. Don't flag me. <laughs> and uh, um, uh, thank you to everyone for all your Patreon support. We'll see y'all next week with another Fan Friday. Bye, everybody. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Out of that town of video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC, what are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots! It's a production of broadcast. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. You got